Hi friends! Today we're going to talk about Camp NaNoWriMo July 2021. If you were here at the beginning of the month and you heard me talk about what my goal was, then this is not news to you, but my goal for Nano was 25,000 words. I was working on the first draft of my French Grim Reaper story. I had previously worked on the first draft of this story. I'm not for sure how long, but I do know that I haven't touched it prior to this month since 2019, which was like a minute or two ago. And last night I actually did some digging while I was on a live stream with Kate and I will link that in the description box down below. It was this month's Octotube chat and I wrote down the first idea for the story in 2014. So we're talking like seven years ago. It's been a minute and a half since I started this project, this plot bunny. As those of you know if you've been here, I am not a completionist. I work on projects on and off multiple times a year. Sometimes I don't touch them for four or five years and then come back full force and work on it and only it for three or four months and then walk away from it. I'm a hot mess. Like we know that this is me. We know I'm a mess. In addition to being a hot mess, it is currently July 28th. I have not hit my goal for the month and I'm not going to hit my goal for the month. I am not trying to at this point. Um, I haven't written anything since the Merlin. You are not helping. Since the 24th was actually the last day I wrote and that was on purpose. I actually on the 24th finished the first draft of the French Grim Reaper story. So this month I wrote 16,251 words which again if you've been here you know is a lot of words for me. I work 40 to 50 hours a week. This month's been especially weird. We've had some projects going on on the farm where I've been making like big family dinners almost every night um, to feed everybody who's working. Like it's been kind of a weird month but I really got some work in. My highest word count day was actually the 23rd and it was 2,529 words. I had two other days where I hit over 2,000 words. Um, and all of this is just during sprints. I didn't write at all this month other than during sprints except for a little bit on the 24th uh, because I had like five or six lines to finish in the epilogue um, to be done. And so I did that after sprints were over. Other than that, 16,000 ish words all done during live sprints some on my channel some everywhere else some while I was on screen some while I was not on screen moral of the story did I reach my goal of camp no but did I win this is where it gets a little tricky because technically I wanted to write 25,000 words to finish this first draft. I finished the first draft, it just wasn't 25,000 words worth of plot. Now, it needs a lot of work, y'all. Like, I already know, there's already, I already have like three pages of notes of things that I need to either add in or go back and change or like plot structure that I want to change things that I want to completely rearrange. Like I've got notes that I was just kind of making while I was writing the first draft. Um, I was writing my first draft off of handwritten outline. Uh, I had about like 12-ish pages of handwritten outline that I was writing off of. And I knew as I was going through, I haven't touched this project for two years. So as I'm going through, I'm like, no, no this needs to go here, this needs to happen, this needs to go here. Uh, I knew there were things that I needed to change. So that really wasn't like, I already know that there's things that are going to be changed. I think what I discussed last night, again, that live stream was about hitting the end because I hit the end. Uh, and we had a, a good discussion about um, 
different things people do when they hit the end and how you get there and it was actually a really good discussion last night. We stayed on topic for the majority of the live stream which is very unlike Kate and I uh, but I definitely I definitely recommend it. It was a good one but as I talked about last night my plans moving forward are to spend the remainder of this month and probably August and do some plot structuring. I want to look up some different um, plotting methods, um, templates I can use for Scrivener. I haven't decided if I want to do um, like Save the Cat or if I want to do like the Snowflake method, if I want to do uh, KM Wayland's method, which I've used before and I do like. Um, there's some different things that I'm going to look into and kind of decide what works best for the story because I don't think there's a an answer, one answer for all stories. So I'm going to look and see what I think is going to work best for this one. I am going to do some more research, maybe read a craft book or two, um, just to kind of up my game a little bit. That's my plan for the next 35-ish days. And then after those 35-ish days, I'm going to crack this baby back open and I'm going to replot and restructure and rework it. And then I'm going to rewrite it again. Um, I guess not really again because I only wrote it the one time but you know what I mean though I'm gonna rewrite it I'm gonna write it again both of those things are accurate so that's where I am with camp NaNoWriMo let me know if you guys were successful if you got to type the end those are two circles on a Venn diagram they do not have to cross over um, you know you could have completed and not wrote the end you could have reached your goal and not hit the end. You could have hit the end and not reached your goal like me. I, it, who knows? Not me. So let me know in the comments below how you guys did, if you feel like you accomplished what you were setting out to accomplish or not, and if you did like a writing vlog or whatever have you, uh, let me know in the comments down below so that Merlin and I can check it out. Hey Merlin, you want to check out their videos? Yeah. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related content a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.